The FDA said today that vaping by teenagers has reached epidemic levels. Anna Warner now on the government's plans to crack down on e-cigarettes. Industry must step up to this problem. FDA Commissioner Scott Gottlieb is stepping up the pressure, telling five companies they have 60 days to submit plans to keep e-cigarettes out of teens' hands or face the possibility of the FDA pulling flavored products, which experts say appeal to teens, off the market. I'm deeply disturbed by what, an, what I see as an epidemic of nicotine use among teenagers. The most popular product by far, the Juul e-cigarette. Since April, the FDA has been examining Juul's advertising. Critics say an earlier marketing campaign that featured young people in groups with bright colors echoed past campaigns by big tobacco companies. In an interview earlier this year, Juul executive Ashley Gould denied it. I will take the criticism that we should have known. I will take that criticism. But we know now we're working very hard and we are committed. Data from Nielsen shows Juul e-cigarettes hold over 72 percent of the market. Matt Myers with the Campaign for Tobacco-Free Kids is skeptical that purely voluntary efforts by industry will work. FDA's announcement has the potential to be a dramatic sea change, but only if FDA itself now follows this up with mandatory rules to require tobacco companies to fundamentally change how they're operating. Well, Jewel says tonight it will work proactively with FDA in response to its request and is committed to preventing underage use of its products. Jeff, retail sales for e-cigarettes are expected to reach $3.8 billion by the end of this year. No, it's not water. It's not All right, Anna, thank you very much.